Hello, this is Alessandrina and today I wanted to talk about what we reject and what we are averse to and how when we are in a state of rejecting or aversion to something we end up uh, essentially experiencing it and manifesting it and manifesting more of it in our lives. So I believe it's Carl Jung who said that what is rejected manifest uh, in the world. And so this is in no way to uh, create fear or to create a sense of uh, something being wrong because we reject something or we are averse to something. This is simply uh, actually a wonderful gift um, that we receive when we realize that anything that we reject uh, in ourselves or in others is going to continue to exist and to um, manifest itself in our daily lives over and over again until we've completely released it from our field and then we can be free of it. We can have understood everything about it, we can have released our version to it and we can be at equanimity uh, with that which we uh, previously rejected or were averse to. So you could look at this situation as a, um, essentially a reflection of the law of attraction. If you are uh, in some part of yourself rejecting something or averse to something, you are carrying that vibration, you are carrying that energy within you. And so if you are carrying that energy within you, you are emitting it in your field you are essentially uh, holding it in and therefore it will manifest, you will see it because you've internalized it so it's now being projected whether that happens consciously or subconsciously it's uh, being projected into your world and therefore it is a lens through which you look at yourself, others and the world uh, without maybe realizing that that's happening and still <laughs> it is happening. If you have uh, aversion or uh, you are rejecting something, you are um, transmitting that vibration, that energy. So the good news is um, that when you start to pay attention to those things that you reject or you're averse to, as much as that might be uh, bring pain and discomfort, you're also um, starting the process of resolving that pain and discomfort by looking at it, by becoming aware of it, and therefore um, through that process of self-awareness and exploration, you're becoming aware maybe of the traumas or um, past pains and recordings that are still uh, being played out uh, even if it's just subconsciously in your system and you have the opportunity to heal that pain, to heal uh, the trauma and to be permanently free of it. So we may not always realize that throughout the day when we have aversion or we are in a state of rejection of something, even if we've organized our world in such a way that we never encounter it, well, it's still processing internally, it's still happening internally and therefore we are in a part of ourselves experiencing it. So when we realize that, once again, this is such a wonderful gift, as much as it might bring again pain and discomfort, at the beginning we're also uh, gifting ourselves uh, the opportunity to free ourselves from uh, that energy that is stored in our system that is taking up bandwidth, right? We have a certain amount of bandwidth just like a, a computer uh, can process uh, some, you know, a certain amount of information. In the same way, the same is true of us. We are uh, designed to be able to process a certain amount of information and that aversion that um, essentially that rejection that we have towards something, it takes up bandwidth. It is information that we are storing in our system. We're saying, that's bad, 
that's wrong. I don't want this. And therefore, um, it's not allowing us to be as free, open, light, uh, expanded as we could be. It contracts our field. It keeps sending the same message over and over again. And when we say, by the way, when we have an aversion to something or we're rejecting something, we're saying, I don't want this or I don't like this or even I hate this. And when we're doing that, the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between I want <laughs> or I like or I love and I don't want, I don't like or I hate. In a way, it's experiencing that. So whatever it is that we say we don't like, we don't want, or we hate, we are holding within ourselves. And, and therefore, the subconscious mind reads that, whatever that is, <laughs> and, and uh, generates all of the um, emotions, the chemistry, uh, the hormones that correspond to that. Even if we're saying no, <laughs> we're saying we're averse to that, we're rejecting that, we don't want it. What we're actually doing is we're bringing more of it into our realm of experience. So uh, there are many different processes that can help you resolve your aversions and what you reject so that you can be free uh, from, from the aversion, from the rejection, and you can have a more holistic and a peaceful and equanimous experience of self, others, and life. Uh, the Oponopono mantra is really wonderful for that process of resolving aversion and rejection. Uh, and we have the Oponopono mantra practice um, on our YouTube channel. So if you look for it, uh, you will find it and you'll be able to practice it with anything that you feel rejection or aversion to. And uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a person, it can be an object, it can be a, a, like a, a pattern, a habit, a way of being, anything that you feel, again, averse to or that you reject, uh, you can apply the Oponopono Mantra to and uh, experience a, a healing, a resolution of the negative emotions that you feel towards uh, the object or the person or, or the, um, the pattern or, or the uh, char characteristic quality. And um, in addition to that, there's also the uh, forgive and forget process, another process that is on our YouTube channel that you can use to do that to resolve uh, your version or your rejection. Ultimately, uh, it can be really helpful to kind of make a... Uh, a list to um, explore in your life all of the different things that you have aversion to or that you're rejecting and to comprehensively release all of these things. You will find that as you face those aversions and those rejections as uncomfortable and painful as it may feel as you, when you do it, it's really such a, a, a small uh, price to pay <laughs> to go through the discomfort and the pain compared to carrying all these different aversions and rejections and continuing to experience them, continuing to live your life uh, with them in your life. So uh, I invite you to go through that process and to use either the forgive and forget or the Oponopono mantra or any other process of uh, transmutation of energy. Uh, that you that you resonate with that feels good to you to release those aversions and those rejections so that you can have a more peaceful uh, joyful loving and um, happy existence i hope this is helpful to you and sending you much love